Hi, Jay. How are you? Yeah, good. Tell a few jokes, trying to make a living. That's the gig. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're the best at. <laughs> well, thanks. <laughs> How are you doing? Good, good. I'm okay. I'm okay. You're having a lot of fun getting ready for the another season, so it's exciting. We're excited for season three. We've been thanks. with you from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. No, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. You know, we've had a lot of changes to the show. Uh, all for the good. You know, when we started this show two years ago, we started right in the middle of COVID. And it's an audience participation show, but suddenly we couldn't have an audience. So we had to come up with comedy bits and do other things to kind of move it along a little bit. Uh, and then the second season came, COVID got uh, restrictions weren't quite as high. So it, it loosened up a little bit. And we, we started giving out actual cash as sort of instant gratification. And boy, what a difference that makes. Because, you know, most people have never held five thousand dollars in cash in our hand you know they're usually on a game show you win five thousand you'll get a check in six months with the money deducted you know and all the kinds of stuff when you walk over you hand it to them oh my god the people are stunned they they can't believe they're holding that much money you know and it really makes the show a lot of fun it gives it a real energy that that makes it fun uh we're gonna have a next season we'll have a like a money clock the quicker you get the answer the more money you get you know so if you if you're hemming and hawing, it's oh you're down to you're down to a hundred dollars quick you got to come up with something you know that type of thing instead of just waiting for them to answer they're they're they're, they're working against the clock. Uh, we'll have a new set, more of a daytime look to it, give it a little more energy, and plus you'll see the audience. You know, before you weren't allowed to show the audience because you weren't allowed to have an audience. So okay. now you'll see people, and and hopefully the stars will exit up through the crowd, high fiving people with their money and things like that. Well, that sounds exciting. So I think it'll make it looser and more fun uh, and really move it along. And plus, we're going to increase the amount of money, too, to probably $10,000. Not quite sure. I don't hold me to that, but I think that's about right. Yeah. Wow, that'll be a big change. Yeah, yeah. You've had some quite uh, funny contestants to well, that's get the you fun started. Part. You know, that's the fun part. Before we came on, contestants would come out not knowing what the show is. just like the gong show. People are going to make fun of me. But we don't. We don't make fun of anybody. We have fun with people. You know, of the 360 shows we've done, we've never had an incident of I was offended or that was sexist or there was some uh, race issue. Or yeah, you know, we don't have any of that. And and because people don't understand where we're coming from here, we're just here to have fun. You know, I had a lady stop me on the street and she said, uh, "Well, I like your show. Could you say the meanest things in the nicest way?" And I went, "Oh, well, thank you. I." Yes. I <laughs> Do you have a, a favorite contestant so far? Uh, well, yeah. You know, my favorite are always the geniuses. We get a lot of people who consider themselves Mensa members, you know, uh, and I guess they are Mensa members. Like one guy said, when I go out to eat with friends, they're always astounded that I can come up with 15% of the bill, you know, within seconds. I said, oh, okay. I said to the guy, what's 15% of 500? He goes, Okay, 10% of 500 is 50. I go, okay, hold it right there. That's what I do. Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm dyslexic. So I go 10% and then add the five. You're a genius by your own admission. Shouldn't you be up a little quicker than me? And it just made me laugh, you know. And then people who have careers, which I wouldn't even consider a career. One guy was a professional dog walker, went to Harvard, been doing that for seven years. Another guy was a, a pooper scooper. And he would go around people's lawns and pick it up and, and, and you know, <laughs> uh, all kinds of room for advancement there. You know, and, and it's all with a straight face. Really? Okay. Well, great. Good for you. Okay. And so it's, it, yeah, it's a lot. You never know what you're going to get. Just odd characters. That's funny. So one of the unique things about your show is that people can play along from home. So right, right. You got the QR code so you can play along from home. And and that's I'm amazing how popular that is. I'm pretty passive TV watcher. I just kind of watch. But it's amazing how many people now either through computers or video games. It's it's just a big part of what they do. The TV becomes an interactive part of their life, so they play the game at, at home as well. So that makes it a lot of fun too. What kind of prizes are you gonna give away this next season? That well, I think it's the usual trips, uh, everything from subscriptions to Netflix. To, you know, it's a cook air from. My favorite from the past, they don't have the Broil Hill Collection. My mother would watch game shows, would always have something from <laughs> the Broil Hill Collection. I never knew what the Broil Hill Collection was. Or from Dicker and Dicker in Beverly Hills. Here's a, well, no, you can't give away furs anymore, Mom. That's no good. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
all of a sort of usual. A lot of cookware, a lot of uh, subscription stuff. Uh, you know, just, just whatever prizes we can garner, I guess. Now, and money. We give away money, too. Yeah, so you can win cash at, at, at the home game as well. That's exciting. Um, I had a question. Yep. Uh, with all the people you know in Hollywood, have you ever thought of doing a celebrity edition of the, your show? Well, we have done celebrity editions of the show, actually. What we do is we have the celebrity come on. Now, Ray Romano came on. They would ask questions. They come on the screen. They ask the guest question. Oh, Bill Maher, Sherry Shepard, uh, you know, all, all kinds of, yeah, a lot of celebrities. That's that's a lot of fun, too. People seem to like that. Those are always surprise ones that come up once or twice a month. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. We're excited for season three. Well, thanks. Thanks. I had a Cleveland for me. I used to play that town. All, are you from Cleveland? Um, we're in the Cleveland market, yes. No, oh, okay, but you're not in Cleveland now. No, no. Oh, no. I used to play a theater there called the Front Row, which was a great, just a great, great one of those theaters in the round. And uh, those were really popular in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. And most of them are gone now. But yeah, yeah, no, great Italian food in Cleveland. So thank you. You can come visit anytime. <laughs> okay, I will do that. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.